All right, hey there. Uh, this is uh, Industrialist, um, a game I got off the Play Store. Oh, I don't know, a few weeks ago. Uh, so uh, I'm a I'm a CNC machinist. So I was kind of curious when I found this on the Play Store, and uh, so anyway, it's a game like basically about machining. So, this is kind of my strategy with it. I don't know if what I do is the most efficient way to play it, but, um... It's kind of like a tycoon game. I'm not real into those, so none of those have really held my attention. Or the mining games. Uh, I've kind of played with those a little bit and never really found a one I liked, but... Uh, this one's fun. You kind of set it and forget it. Um... You know, you'll go in, you'll you'll do a bunch of stuff, and then uh, you you put it away for a while, and then you open it back up, and you, know, you do a few more things, and then close it. So it's not really a game. You just sit down and you know spend two hours just playing it, and then put it back in your pocket. So so anyway, here's how I play the game. Um, so this is my strategy, and uh, I'm. I'm kind of, I'm a few weeks into this game. I'm not starting from the beginning. So uh, if anybody's interested in, in me making videos for uh, like more of a walkthrough style video, um, let me know in the comments. So anyway, so let's get started. So, all right, so I've left it alone for a while since the last time I played it. So I've opened it back up and here's where I'm at. So first off, uh, I'll let you know real quick, the way the game starts is you start off with one machine. It goes through some steps on how to buy a machine and all that. So you start out with this lathe right here. And you basically have a list of jobs that you can put on, you know, whatever machines. So, you know, you open up the information. It tells you which machines to use or wh which ones you have to have. Uh, you, you hire operators and engineers. That's what this is down here at the left hand, you know, bottom there. And for each job, you have to buy material. So, um, I'll get into that in a minute, but that's the basics of it. So you start out with one machine. You run a few jobs, make, make a little bit of money. Uh, and then buy more machines, and just the more machines you buy, the more jobs you can run. So that's the basics of it. So, so I'm, I've opened it up. <clears throat> All these floating money things. That means the job is done. I'm I'm ready to collect the profit. So, and all you do is just kind of click on the machines to get the profit here. So I'm just gonna do that. All right. So as you progress through the game, <clears throat> uh, you buy more than one shop, pretty much. You get more than one building. So I've got three so far. So, oops. So one thing this game kind of captures a little bit if you work in an industry like this or even a restaurant or whatever is you'll open the game and you'll have something's happened um, since you've put it away. Uh, these ones that are flashing red, that means those machines are broken. We have to fix them. So it's kind of like, you know, when you walk in on your shift and everything's on fire kind of thing. So... Um, you basically hire maintenance people, and when a machine breaks, you just, uh, basically have them repair it. You've got the little meter here that tells you how long it's going to take. You can also click on it. So it'll be about a minute for this one. And we got the same thing here. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that go. I'm going to check the other one. Here we go. Oh, got a whole bunch here. <clears throat> uh, 
All right, so in these blue flashing ones here, uh, you got these metrics here on each machine, and you can buy upgrades to, you know, bring your power levels up. It's like any other video game, really, on that. But anyway, this machine's worn out, so I have to overhaul it. So it's basically the same thing as repairing it. Um, it costs money though to do that, and it also takes a lot longer. It'll take three hours for this one. So now I'm just going through and clicking repair on all these broken ones. Alright. <clears throat> So basically all the jobs are done. So every time a job is ran, you have to go back through your list and buy the material again and get it running again, pretty much. This panel down here on the left center, on the center bottom here is an automation panel. And you can do that, you can click on it to make it automatically just restart every job again so it's not so tedious, but you also have to spend coins to do that. And um, I try not to spend any coins right now. I just try to earn coins because you can buy things, you know, uh, down here at the bottom. Uh, every 12 hours, or excuse me, 24 hours, they offer a new machine that you can buy. And this particular one's 350 coins, but it also produces 45 coins per day. So you can just advance a lot quicker. And of course you can pay for coins and and with real money and buy all this stuff. But uh, I try to play it without spending any money. I'm not, I haven't so far. And uh, I don't really intend to. So right now I'm just trying to earn coins and all that so that I can, you know, buy the big stuff. So, all right. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna click on the jobs to get them going again. And so here's my strategy. I try to run the most profitable ones. Um, one thing I learned when, when you first start a game is if you just go through the list and just buy, you know, one by one, just buy each machine for each job and just keep buying stuff till you're out of money and then trying to run them to make money. Uh, you'll just run out of money because you also have to pay the workers uh, once per day. So uh, I didn't know that, so I just spent all the money I was given at the beginning and just bought every machine I could and ran everything I could. And then the first day uh, came due to pay everybody and didn't have enough. I had, had to just start over. So, so anyway, I'm going to scroll down here. Um... So, just buy the material here, accept the order, and then you just have to click on the machines for that particular job. And there we go. So, and that's how you get it going. So, now I'm just going to go through here and... Uh, pretty much run the same jobs on the same machines all the time. Sometimes I screw up and run the wrong ones, but that's all right. So some of them sit for a little bit, but that's okay. on the CNC, which that's what makes this game fun, fun for me, I guess, is I'm a CNC operator, so if, if I worked in this plant, this is probably the machine I would run. So you always start out with a lot of manual stuff, and just as you progress, you can get uh, like vertical milling centers and 
vertical lathes, uh, OD grinders, stuff like that. So it's kind of fun playing a game that's based on your job. Uh, it's not something you see very much um, in this kind of industry. So and it's a pretty fun time killer on on my lunch break and you know my smoke breaks and stuff like that at work. Um, So there we go. Yeah, it looks like everything running. We have a few mills not running here. I'm not sure why. I probably picked the wrong job for something. So I'm just going to have to wait it out. <clears throat> so I'll go to my next little plant here. So my, also my strategy is I'm trying to get machines for jobs that make coins. Like this particular one here. I don't have room for this yet, but um, if you can profit <clears throat> a coin or two a day on some of this stuff without spending coins, then the more you run, then you can just keep saving up. So, um, so yeah, this, this is pretty much it. Um, you just go through and actually I want to cancel that because I'm pretty sure. Oh, I see where my problem is. So you have to spend money on things like <clears throat> advertising and stuff like that. If you don't do that, then this meter here, once it drops below a certain level, then uh, all the jobs that you had aren't available for you anymore. So you have to... I'm at 89%. So I'm going to get 10% here. Now I've got 50 out of 50 available. And also... You can do, like, staff parties and art events for, the, for your workers. And that basically brings the scrap rate down. So I'm going to pick the job here that makes the coins. Actually, that's not what I want. That's where I screwed up in the last warehouse, or in the last factory. So I have to let that one sit. That's okay. There we go. I screwed up an overbought material, and if you do that, you can just sell it. No harm, no foul. There we go. So just like in real life with with a job like this, pretty much the object is is keep as many t spindles turning as possible at all times. So that's where it's kind of fun for me. So the less downtime, the more money you make. kind of messed up my order on what jobs I put where. That's okay. I'll just be able to let it sit for a while and as soon as everything's done I'll get it all sorted out.
So there's another one that needs an overhaul. After a certain number of hours, they wear out. And what you can do to kind of prevent that or hold off for it is the, that's what these upgrades are. You can buy upgrades, and just depending on the machine, um, will depend on how much those cost. So this one, I haven't upgraded anything on it. So. Uh, if you don't upgrade anything, they wear out faster. So that's what the colors mean. Like, see all these little blue trays by each machine. And, you know, and here, these are all red. I've pretty much upgraded everything as much as I pretty much could without spending coins. So, there's a coin job I can run. All these others are getting repaired. So it looks like that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all I can run right now while these others are getting repaired. But yeah, it's, if you're a machinist, it's pretty neat seeing machines that you're familiar with. Like, you know, we got a bandsaw right here and you got your drill presses and your, your mills, vertical mill, uh, surface grinders, CNC lathes. Uh, your bigger manual lathes. Um, and then as you progress, just more machines become available. So, so I'm basically at the beginning of the CNC levels. So you can look ahead though. Um, this is where I'm at now. So this punch style press here, that'll be my next buy. So in vertical uh, mills. So this is kind of neat too. That looks like a Mazak, which that's actually what I run at my job is a Mazak lathe. Pretty similar to that. So, <laughs> so pretty neat. It looks like the, the game makers kind of did their homework. So, also another big Mazak of RAM machine similar to that. So, yeah, that's it. So, uh, like I said, let me know in the comments uh, if you want. I'll do a walkthrough where we start from the beginning. So, uh, so that's my strategy. Um, just make sure you keep everything running and uh, always try to have money in the bank. Uh, don't just spend all of your money on upgrades and machines. So I try to keep about 100000 in the bank at all times. So when the workers need paid, uh, you can pay them. So, uh, so there it is. Industrialist on the Play Store. Um, CNC machines and all that cool stuff. So thanks a lot and have a good one.